so this is going to be the Linda Cantello look for Giorgio Armani and I'm going to start off by applying my Laura Mercier um, primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid and underneath uh, my lid as well. Now I've already applied my foundation and the foundation that I'm wearing is the um, Aveda foundation that I just uh, recently reviewed. Uh, I've got that on and I've got my prescriptives um, um, my prescriptives concealer on just put that all over my lid all the way up to my brow bone okay so the um, colours that I'm going to be doing today I'm going to be using one palette for this and I'm going to be using the MUA Makeup Academy palette and this one is in Dusk Till Dawn. i show you some of the colours that are in here. Ooh, there we go. It's got like um, 12 colours and it's only £4. Now I use their um, big eyeshadows um, which are like a pound and they're fantastic as well, really nicely pigmented. So I really wanted to use this one for this look because it needs a nice, um, a nice amount of um, pigmentation. So I'm going to start off with, I'm going to be using my large shader brush um, from the Royal Lang Nickel kit that I picked up at IMAX this year. Yeah, because the next one's in February. That's right. So the first colour I'm going to put on is the lighter colour here. So this one there. And I'm just going to place that on the inner portion of my top and bottom lid. Okay, so I'm splitting the lid up into four basically. And I am just going to be placing this just right there. Just leaving that inner portion there. So I'm just putting that right there. Hopefully you can see that. And just a nice light wash of that colour. I'm just patting that on. Do that with both eyes. And you need to do it on the bottom portion of that lid as well. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to apply my second colour, which is the one directly above that, which is this one here. Sorry, this one here like a darker grey colour. I'm just going to get that on to... It's more of a, a grey with like purpley tints to it. And I'm just going to place that just directly there. And you don't have to be too neat at point in time because you will be blending. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is place a matte black in that outer corner to make sure that I have the added kick of that. So I'm just going to get that on. So it's this one here from same from MUA as well. And I'm just going to get that onto the brush, and I'm just going to place that in my outer corner, my outer V. Now this black is more of like a, I would say a blacky grey color. It's not a true like dark like carbon black. So I've got that there and I'm gonna repeat the same colours that I've put on the top lid on the bottom of my lid. So I'm just gonna pull that black there. And I'm gonna use my smudger brush for that. So I'm just gonna get some of that black on that brush. And I'm just gonna pull that up there. So you can see. And then I'm going to go back into the second colour I use and meet it up with that black. Dust that off and then go into the lightest grey colour. And then what I'm also going to do to lighten that up slightly on the inner portion of the eye, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of a 
a white, the white shimmery color from the same palette, just that white on there. And I'm just gonna put that in at the bottom as well to help that color lift. Like that. And where I've left that gap at the top, I'm going to place that white as well. So I'm just going to do my other eye and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now that I've done that on both lids, I'm going to go back with my large um, shader brush and I'm going to go back into the darker colour. And I'll go back into it. I'm going to go into the darker colour, which is this black with all the um, glitter in it. And I'm just going to get that on to the brush and I'm just going to put that over where I placed the black shadow. So I'm just patting that on there gently. So the other black that I placed on is just adding, acting as like a base for it. And just bringing it underneath the eye as well. Then I'm just going to dust that off lightly and then I'm just going to very lightly um, blend those colors together so I'm just going to turn my head so you can see hopefully so I'm just going to sweep backwards and forwards like this whilst knocking down my fix plus <laughs> so I'm just going to sweep that lightly into the inner corner so we're just bringing that black all the way into the inner corner of the eye to add added intensity there. And then I'm also blending that colour upwards as well. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit of that matte black and I'm just using that to blend upwards. Because in, uh, in the magazine, the model's eyes right here in the inner corners are very, very dark. So I'm just using the black and um, the plain matte black to pull that darkness in. I don't want too much shimmer there. And if you've got any gaps where you, you know your skin hasn't been covered, then just go in with the smudge brush and smudge that in. And just slightly. Make sure everything's nicely blended so you can you go nicely from the darker colour to the lighter colours. Like that. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to align my eyes. And once again, I'm going to be using my Benefit Bad Gal um, Black Liner. So it's this one and it looks like that it's the one I always use and it's the top and bottom um, lid so if you do the trick that I showed you which I picked up from I believe it was Pixie Woo or Tanya Bear you put it in the corner of your eye and close your eye and then run it backwards and forwards like that and they're both lined quick and you don't get the feeling of stabbing yourself in the eye repeatedly. So that's that done. Pick this mascara up, it's a Revlon, it's called um, their 3D Mascara I believe. It's called their 3D Extreme Mascara. Now the freaky thing is the wand. I don't know, it looks a bit, put it on my head, you see? looks like it's, I picked it up from TK Matt. it looks a bit weird, it's like flat on two sides and then it has bits, little the little spindle things, 
but yeah I'm going to try and apply it. It's the first time that I'm applying it so we will see. First impressions it seems nice. I think I quite like that. Okay, so I've applied my mascara, so that's the eyes totally finished. And I am going to move on to the lips. Now, to achieve the color that they have, it's a really dark, vampy color, so I'm going to be using two lipsticks for that. So I'm just gonna zoom out and I'll be back with you. Okay, so I'm going to be using two colors, like I said before. I'm going to be using one, they're both from Calvin Klein. Yeah, they are, they're both from Calvin Klein. This is their um, delicious cream sheen delicious luxury cream lipstick and this color is in vivid plum and this is their cayenne lip color and uh, yeah it just says cayenne lip color and this one's in a silver tube so I'm going to apply the cayenne color as the base color and it's a gorgeous like dark red and I'm mainly going to be concentrating this on the inner portion of my lip really like that red yeah vivid plum which looks like this is a really nice dark purple so get that bit right down. and I'm just going to use that as like a lip liner and then smudge your lips together to get this really gorgeous like dirty purple red colour, which I wish they did an individual lipstick for that. Okay, so I'm just going to use my concealer brush from the Royal Land Nickel Kit and I'm just going to use that to smooth out the colour to help me get the perfect shade that I'm looking for. Okay, so that's it and it's absolutely gorgeous, I thought. Really nice, dark, vampy look that you could wear for like a Christmas evening or um, just dependent on what you want to do but you could either wear the lip on its own or just the eyes and um, more of a, a nude lip but I absolutely love this look and this one is the Linda Cantello and she is the international makeup artist for Giorgio Armani so I hope you enjoyed this video guys I hope it was useful for you and fun at the same time thank you very much for watching today bye